Yo, what's up guys? It's the one, the only, the big boy freezer, hurry. Today we're gonna be reacting to a video titled When Police Break Up Your Bow Party and Make You Cry for Mommy, bro. There's a lot of what? floating around here. I wouldn't know anything about that. See, one thing I hate, bro, is the people who litter, bro. So whatever happens to y'all, bro, good riddance. Would you? Nah, good fucking riddance, bro. You don't meet your thousand dollar checks. I mean, I mean, checks, um, tickets. Is there anyone on the vessel that has not had a drink today? We are Please. working on making contact. I didn't the one that dropped the bell. Please. Yeah, why are you crying like that, bro? On October 7th, bro, 2023, man up. of the FWC was on water patrol near Duck Key in Monroe. Yeah. Point, when he observed the 20-foot vessel with 12 occupants backing away from a large white cabin boat. While approaching the vessel, Officer Gibbons observed the multiple alcoholic beverage containers floating in the water downwind of the vessel. The I officer don't know. soon made contact with the vessel, noting several intoxicated occupants and the operator later identified as Adam. Seeing that I get so many questions and misinformed comments, I'm going to break down some of the interactions in this video, as well as audit the field sobriety tests performed on Adam in this video. Because so many of you guys don't seem to understand them, nor do I sometimes. What the fuck is happening, bro? Or my voice. Bro. I'll be including time codes on the screen so you can skip past these, but you're gonna be missing out. Can you get the registration for me? Having a party out here, aren't we? Not really. Not really, huh? Just tell yeah, people what about. Am I wrapping this through the the center console yeah, thing for me? I just got bit by a jellyfish. You got any medicine? Uh, it's called stinging, <laughs> but uh, no, no, I did not. Sorry. Officer, are they poisonous out here? Uh, I wouldn't really say poisonous. I've never gotten stung before. Yeah, me either, man. I'm really. Who the fuck asked you? It won't hurt you. You what? Get you on your fucking chest. Put your hands behind your back. Who the fuck is talking to me? Trying to trick me and shit. Trying to manipulate him and shit. He's here to conduct business. We're from here. Okay. Nobody asked you. Maybe change the fucking. Don't know anything about these. Black glasses, looking ass. I wouldn't know anything about all these cans floating around. Why so quiet? Speak up! Speak up! There's a lot of cans floating around here. I wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Nah, so I just got bit by a jellyfish, man. The only yeah, we, thing we were I'm just tubing and wakeboarding. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about is getting this to, to shore. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get to shore fast. <laughs> oh, fans, head ass. You sound like fucking Shaggy from Scooby Doo! Oh my god, bro, the fucking lies and excuses, bro. Y'all got stung so bad that I threw some fucking beer cans on the f in in the ocean, right? Right? Is that, is that what I'm hearing? I, I oh my it god, twice. I can see. It's really bad. Oh saying. my god, you can see it, oh, Becky. Oh my god. Who the fuck you? Oh my god, really? Someone get her someone get her some ointment. Oh my god. No registration on board. What's your name? Experience medieval times. A world of excitement, adventure, and you have your driver's license on you? <laughs> What's your name? Officer Givens. Alrighty, Captain. We're gonna run through a safety inspection. I need you to grab all the safety equipment for me, alright? For real? What you need? We just got the boat rewired, so everything got moved around. So okay. Stuff on that boat. Okay. Okay. Megan, look in that back. This boat. It's all probably on that. Okay, so if this boat started sinking, what are you gonna do? You're gonna well, I'm gonna swim, Sarah. You ain't even gotta ask that question. <laughs> Can't you swim? So no life jackets at all on board? No, sir, but we, we live right there, though. Okay. What does that mean? So if you drown, you're gonna go back to the house, get your life vest, and come back to the ocean? Are you? Bro, bro, I thought Hispanics 
I thought my people are the type of people to not do good in school. Why do you sound like you didn't do good in school, bro? You're white. Come on. Like, come on, bro. What the fuck does that mean, bro? It's not even a valid excuse. Oh, no, but we live right there. What if you drown? Okay. How you gonna get... Bro. Where, where are y'all staying at? We're in Duck Key. Duck Key? Yes, sir. Okay. Buddy right here, bro. Sorry, sorry, not sorry, bro. He's whitewashed. I don't give a fuck. Every every other person here is white, bro. We're uh, only one black person. Like, you there anyone whitewash. on the vessel that has not had a drink today? So, only two of you drink. Golly, guys, come on. Um, Half of them are lying. You're, you're giving some signs of possible impairment. Uh, I don't want to risk, or I can't make you drive or ask you to drive until I, I know for sure that you're not, not impaired. Uh, so with that, uh, and you don't have any safety gear on, on the vessel, I would I like I'd like to get this vessel back to the dock where you're at and continue to stop there. That way we can run through this. At this point in the encounter, Officer Givens is suspicious of a BUI. Boating under the influence. B U I. And has completed phase one of his investigation, which will allow him to lawfully administer SFSTs, standard field sobriety tests. Basically, the moment the officer made contact NFTs. with the captain, the test had started. Law enforcement generally looks for five things a moving boating violation, an equipment violation, expired registration, unusual operating actions, or evidence of drinking or drugs in the vessel. Mm. Now let's audit this encounter. When the officer asked for the vessel registration, the captain provided the officer with his Florida Boating Safety ID card without being asked to do so. He also had so trouble removing them. it from his wallet. And this mistake doesn't seem like a big deal, but it's often cons- Monday. Huh? Monday. Oh. Monday. 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 Considered not following directions in the eye of the law. The captain also had trouble removing his ID from his wallet, and I actually wasn't too surprised to see that Officer Givens had actually added a time code for when he was fumbling in his wallet. When the captain started looking for the vessel registration, he stumbled and caught himself on the rail of the center console, and throughout the encounter, was often seen bracing himself or leaning on objects to keep himself steady, and in the end, he was unable to locate his registration. The officer then conducted a safety inspection, asking for all safety equipment on the boat. Which I will add is a bit vague and unusual, considering most BUI investigations I've watched, law enforcement will be specific with what they want to see. Here's an example of how they usually go. How y'all doing? Just want to check your life jackets. Everybody could hold one up for me. That being said, the captain will eventually ask what safety equipment the officer was looking for. And the officer says he's looking for life jackets, specifically 12 of them for everyone on board the vessel, which is fair because what are they going to do if the, the vessel sinks? But in the end, the captain was unable to locate any of the required equipment. And All I right. want to note that one of them was literally on the center console, the horn of the vessel. He didn't even try honking it. Since we're not actually there, we are huh? unable to determine if the officer actually smelt alcohol. But in his report, he stated, I could not differentiate where the odor of a strong, unknown alcoholic beverage was coming from, as the odor was so profuse from the entirety of the vessel. The mm. officer also asked to inspect the two coolers on the boat, and although we cannot see inside the coolers very well, the officer also made this statement. They said wizardry only appears in fairy tales, but when you arrange... 
two coolers on the vessel contained multiple empty alcoholic beverage containers, some of which had puncture holes presumably from shotgunning, a method to rapidly consume a beverage. Some of the beverage brands on the vessel matched the cans I observed floating on the surface while approaching the vessel. That being said, I'd like to say, I'm not exactly sure if the captain is required by law to show the officer what's inside the cooler. One reason being is, I've yet to see an officer from the FWC board a non-fishing vessel in open coolers without the owner's consent first. Except for this one time. You know, when I get on board and look and check the hatches, if there's alcohol on board, we're going to take the next step. So, why is there alcohol coming from the door? Going once? Going why? twice? Okay. Oh, right. Man, a step on my boat. Step on up. Open that up. Huh. Interesting. But you will note that after the officer opened the cooler, he quickly shuts it and then asks one of the other people on board to open it for him. Probably because the statute that gives law enforcement authority to inspect storage containers without consent or warrants seems to only apply to vessels used for fishing or storing fish or other resources from the ocean. Seeing that there are no fishing rods or any other evidence of fishing, I will assume that this statute didn't apply to this stop, and that's why he asked for consent first. Moving on, I believe that the captain of this vessel has shown obvious signs of impairment. Yeah, he, he's Jiggins drunk, bro. Justified in, continue in the comments. I have my license. Okay. I just don't have it on me. You can look it up. That's fine. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll, I'll agree to that. I'll let you drive back to dock. I'll follow you. Uh, just a slow, slow put in, and then uh, I'll continue this at the dock, okay? No, officer Willie. Willie. Guerrero. Yes, sir. If you ask him, he knows me. Okay. And Is he going to suck my dick? Like, why do I give a fuck? Like, I'm working on my captain's license right now. What do I mean? Okay. So, what about Officer Clark? Officer Clark? Oh, so you want to suck his dick. And then he's going to let me know so we can give you your captain license. Oh, okay. I get you. I get you. I get you. <laughs> I know Caldwell. Yeah, so I'd rather continue this at the dock so we can kind of let them uh, not be in the middle of all this, all right? Uh, you mind driving back? No, it's fine. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sir. Yes, I'll hold everything. I'm going to follow you back to the dock, okay? this is like full tears. Okay, I'm sober. I got really stung by a jellyfish all throughout here. What do I do? For that, I have like severe eczema as well. Okay. I'm not a doctor. Do you see this badge? I'm a, I'm a cop. Not Usually a it's just time. Time takes it away. Okay. Uh, you can get some kind of uh, ointments from the like pharmacy okay. that can My help. Yeah, they can help minimize this thing. But uh, like yeah, right not right now. No. Not that I know of. Thank you, officer. No problem. So in a nutshell, the officer asks for the address they were staying at and then allows one of the passengers to drive back to its dock. While en route, Officer Givens radios for backup and gives dispatch the address he will need assistance at. I'm gonna point out what I'm gonna point out one more thing because I'm a hell of annoying. It looks to me like the captain took over operation of the vessel again, which probably is not going to go super well for him, considering he was given instructions not to do that. Hey! I need everybody over here now. How's it going, guys? Hi. Hi. What's happening? What's going on? What's up? How's it going? Do you usually just pull in straight like that? No, I normally turn the boat. But okay. Since he's here, I just want to give him some room. All right. The arriving officer just asked the captain of the vessel if he normally docks his boat like that because he kind of just pulled it in and everybody else just parks inside. In many other videos I've made, officers use poor docking skills as, as probable cause to conduct SFST, mm -hmm. so. Cool. Hey, What's up? Good. Yeah, you guys need an ID? No, not from you. Now that every... Uh. <laughs> Okay, what is happening, bro? Out from one to four, or you move your fist in a step-like fashion. Make contact between your fist at each step. Bro, this okay. is so much. Bro. One, two, three, four. Not against my chest. No, it's out in a step-like fashion. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. Understand? Okay. The second task is to memorize the position of your fist. After you have counted. Jesus fuck. Okay, guys, he he failed. He he failed. Come on, like. So, at this time, he failed. I do believe the normal faculty faculties are impaired. Okay. So, she'll stand up. And just turn around for me. 
Yeah. He's not even denying yes. it. Yes, sir. Okay. You're driving a boat with your normal faculties I was, impaired. I was driving in the open water on 17, man. Okay. Please. Yeah, so Please. your alcohol is actually less. All right, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Yeah. What's going on here? You're operating a vessel with normal faculties impaired, sir. What about everybody else? Anybody else driving that whoa, 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 whoa. What, what do you mean? You want me to arrest them too? Yo, you're a snitch, bro. It's it's just That's a crazy. BUI. Okay, you'll Yo, have to go through it and I'm, deal with it, right? BUI for boats. It's your age, man. Come on. I understand. Hey. Uh, the court says how you deal with it, hey. okay? You made that what decision when you drove a boat. What happened with to your... that boat? What happened with him? I stopped you because you were pulling away so. from that boat, okay? And I saw all the people on board without a single life jacket on the boat. Now, there's no doubt in my mind that this kid's over the legal limit. And he definitely should not have been operating the boat at the time. But he does have a few points that I'd like to point out. According what? According to the Florida Statute 562.111, underage drinking in the state of Florida is illegal, much like it is in the whole United States. And I've actually made about five videos featuring people under the age of 21 getting citations for it. Yet the officers here seem to turn a blind eye. The other point that he made that was equally as good, before Officer Givens stopped this vessel, another vessel could be seen pulling away from it. We later see that same vessel docked at the home, with the owner standing by waiting. In fact, one of the FWC officers actually called him out for smelling like alcohol. Mm, shit. I don't think it's on the boat. No? How old are you? I'm 17. Okay. You reek of alcohol right now. So, you know, uh, I, I've just been on the boat. Right. The officers might have let this go for- Bro, how do cops know that they smell, bro? Like- you're not showering in beer, you're drinking it. Does it really smell that much on your breath? For a few reasons, but I'd be willing to bet that the officer couldn't see who was in operation in the vessel because he was operating the boat at the time. Generally, FWC officers patrol the waters in groups of two. What is wrong? <laughs> you just don't want to go to jail. Please, just take me to my mom. <laughs> Can I call my mom? We tried to Hey bro, this is this is for every time he says I don't I don't resin bro like that mom, early. can you get my mom can, did I, we, can did I go we, to my mom No Patro I can't get your mom bro she busy with me right now bro did we try <laughs> did to do that mom? earlier can I go to my mom I'm gonna shut the door no, and leave you in here if you're not gonna answer my questions now did we or did we not ask you for your mother's name and phone number and you said what no am I correct let, let me explain. Please. Hey, can I go to my mom, please? I don't want to go to QS for two days, please. We tried to get can this I, information can I call from you. you. Can you call my mom, please? Well, we've already we already I'm asked you that bro. earlier. Bro. You know when we're going to call them? We are contacting I'm so sorry. them. I'm so sorry, please. Just don't take me to QS. For two we've days. already contacted them. <laughs> Why can't I just go home? Oh because no one, because no one's there. We, bro, if you're old enough to drink, bro, you should not be crying like this, bro. Yeah, we are working on making I contact. I the one that dropped the bell. Please. please I'm going to put this seatbelt on. If you mess up my truck, you're going to get an additional charge for criminal Please mystery. call my mom, please. We have please already started please. that. I've Can already you explained it to you. Here, please. She's not picking Why? you up here. Why? Because she can't. I'm 17. I don't need a record. Please. Yeah, he went to jail, guys. I, is it like, do I need to, do, do I need to tell y'all, bro? He went to jail, bro. Supposed to do. We're gonna let you go with your mom. Adam was given a breath test. He said what? And you do what you're supposed to do. We're gonna let you go with your mom. Adam was given a breath test. His first sample concluded that his breath alcohol concentration was 0 .071, and his second sample was 0 0.81. Adam was given several citations and then released to the custody of his mother. Just gonna warn you. You know, if this would happen two months down the road when you're 18. It doesn't work out this way. Adam was charged with operating a vessel while normal faculties impaired and received several citations. At the time of making this video, it appears that Adam's case is still ongoing. But in the notes, it says transferred to CJ, which I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't a clue what that means. So if you know, I'd love for you. Yeah, um. Is there comments? Is there comments? Is there comment section? Yeah, I'm saying, bro, bro is ready to snitch on the whole group, bro. L, 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 mads, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. What about the, what about the other people? What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Nah, that's a, bro. If I was a cop, bro, I would say, you know what? You're right. So for everyone, it's like ten temptations. So since you're the one driving, I'm gonna just give you them. Like, bro, come on, bro. Why you being, why you being like that, bro?
I think, I think you're gonna start crying, but you know what? It makes sense. If y'all enjoyed the video, leave a like. Comment down what are your thoughts about this whole situation. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We post about nine, three to nine videos every week. Never less, never more. But yeah, subscribe if you're new. And with that being said, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Stay blessed. Be kind to others. And I'll catch you in the next one.